he's gonna win. It's been such a wild ride. <laughs> I don't know what kind of fairy godmother magic you did to make him into a mayoral contender, but it's gonna open doors for us. <sighs> I quit. Pardon me? Nothing to do with you or this place. My time here has been a dream. Okay, so why are you quitting? I want more. Oh, like more like a race. Cool. More out of life. Okay, I don't understand. I swore to myself I'd never go back to corporate PR, but look, here I am. This is crazy. You are about to become the hottest image consultant in Manhattan. You're just gonna walk away from that? I'm gonna focus on my wellness blog. Become an influencer? A life coach. I already have a few thousand followers. I just need to build momentum. We can ease up on the workload. Easy. Let's do it. Lyra, thank you, but no. Is there anything I can say to keep you? There isn't. So now that that's settled, I want to talk about you guys. Steve, you need to give yourself more me time. So I booked you taiko drum lessons. I mean, you've been talking about it for years, so get after it, OK? Lara, I got you a National Parks passport. So you can go on some mother-daughter trips with Kim and collect stamps together. <laughs> And I realized that HR isn't fully utilizing their wellness budget, so I got an automated massage chair for the staff on this floor since they've been working overtime. It's in my old office, which is now a zen room. Image is important. That's what we do here. But finding real balance in life is what's crucial to thrive. Oh, oh! From he won. Morris won the primary. Oh my, oh, my God. Oh, oh. Goodbye. Hey, take care. I mean, literally. Celebrating? You want to guess? The blender's on sale? Grandma found a silver fox. <laughs> Who told you that term? Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, but no. You're taking me to Disneyland? Nice try. <laughs> I quit my job to focus on the vlog. You have nothing to worry about, Ellie. This is a good thing. I'm helping, right? Uh, of course. I mean, who's the best camera operator east of the Mississippi? <laughs> <laughs> you did what? Mom, I have money saved up. Oh, I'm concerned. I'm very concerned. Thanks for the vote of confidence. No, that was a good job. A secure job. That was a shallow PR job. What if you need to find a job and you can't because you've been out of the game for so long? I'm still going to be doing image consulting on the side. I'm just going to pivot it into life coach with the vlog. What if the economy crashes? What if you need to move? What if there's an earthquake in Manhattan? But can that even happen? I have an image consulting gig interview tomorrow. Can you watch Ellie? Well, I'm volunteering at the clothing donation store. I'll get a babysitter. I can cancel. Mom, it's fine. Why now? If not now, then when? I looked over my journals over the last couple of years, and I realized that I wasn't happy. I was pouring all of my energy into a job that I didn't care about out of some misguided pride in work ethic. Self-care and wellness helped me to find balance in my life, and I just want to help other people. Like, I have to help other people. And the blog will do that? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've been freelance my whole life. Self-employment is stressful. I have a plan. You know me, I triple-checked the risks. It's a sound strategy. I just... You don't have to worry. That's what moms do. <laughs> they do. Whew. You ready, director? Mom, you need to up your game. I need to up my game? Yeah, our equipment is, like, old. It's fine. We can upgrade as we go. What? All the influencers have these big cameras with lenses now. 
Not their phones. <laughs> How do you know all this? I watch vlogs. Oh. The phone camera can make your face look wide. Action! <clears throat> Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Finding the Me Between the Beauty and the Mess. I'm Savannah Joy, and in this video, I'm reviewing skincare masks. Now, I have everything from cleansing masks to hydration masks. I've tried gel, sheet, mud, clay, everything so that you don't have to. Now, this mask, which is a rosemary and honey mask, is actually my favorite. It's not too drying. My favorite, too. Sorry. <laughs> Action! Hi, welcome back to Finding the Me Between the Beauty and the Mess. I'm Savannah Joy, and in this video, I'm reviewing skin. Is that Ellie? Sorry, I couldn't get a sitter. Oh, no worries. I'm a big fan of your vlog, so she's kind of like a celebrity to me. <laughs> I'd be honored to hang out with you while your mom has her job interview. I'm Alicia. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Well, you've been posting about your consulting work nonstop, so I made a few calls, and everyone has raved about you. Hey, do you have any um, sleep wellness advice? You know, actually, I have a post coming up about that. The trick is ritual and treating yourself a little. Hmm. Anyway, Patrick is wrapping up, so can I get you anything? No. You guys want a tour? <laughs> Come on. This is so cool. Mm hmm So as you probably know, we are the number five interview talk radio show in New York. We used to be number one until a few years ago. I mean, you are New York's hottest club right now. I mean, from the models in the glass cubes just lounging around reading books to the wall of furry bath mat, it is edgy by being nonsensical. Patrick likes to use both boobs to record. It's almost saying that being immature oh. is in. That being I'm sorry. Why don't you wait right here? Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> So, Ellie, can you tell me where Grandma took you the other day? Museum of Teddy Bears. Grandma liked it. She was nice to take me then. I heard that the club's DJ was a five-gallon bucket on his head. So cool. <laughs> what did you think of it, Ellie? I mean, I'm a little old for that stuff. It was kind of immature. I heard it was popular. I guess, but I'm not four. Uh, who's talking? Hey, Vincent, how's it going in there? We had to wait in a long line outside on the sidewalk just to get in. When we got in, it was so crowded. These girls were screaming, taking selfies. I don't know what the big deal is. Who cares? Well, I guess it was overhyped. Stop talking. Uh, hello? My voice is so deep, <laughs> like a man. <laughs> Mary Sullivan, please put attention. You picked your nose. <laughs> <laughs> so. <clears throat> Ellie, right? How old are you? Ten. Overrated or not? Green juice. Oh, green juice? Ten dollar artisan cupcakes. I make cupcakes with my mom. Well, you heard it, New York. Straight talk from a ten-year-old critic. You decide on the hype. And, well... What's your name? Patrick. Savannah Patrick. Joy. And what do you do, Savannah? How do you see yourself, Patrick? What's he doing? Post. Cultured. Charming. Hmm. Well, I'm a suit connoisseur. Watch enthusiast. Love all things bespoke. Always hustling. Always seeking the truth. Very stylish. In a medium where you're invisible to your audience. Oh, you mean radio? Calculated. Confident. Or closed off. I guess I do wear a suit of armor. Charming, perhaps. Thanks, I won't push it. I'm a life coach, which includes image consulting, helping people with their public image, usually startup CEOs, politicians. I analyze their appearance, behavior, communication, anything that might affect their professional image, and I give recommendations. I can help you. Well, you heard it, New York. Do I need help? Let me know. This is Spreading the News with Patrick Dillon. Are we live? Every morning. Did all of New York just, just hear you flirting with me? 
Yeah. I wasn't flirting. Yeah, some people wouldn't qualify that as flirting. More awkward? <laughs> I am very good at flirting. We're still broadcasting, Savannah. You hit the live button. Uh, yeah, it's okay, one second. I am so sorry. We were in here waiting for the interview, and I thought when you came in, you were just playing along. No, I was trying to turn this gaffe into a skit. Are we still going to do the image consulting gig interview? No. Uh, cute kid, though. My fault. Um, they prepped this room to record and then moved on. I, I didn't know. Thank you for the opportunity. Sorry. Come on, babe. <laughs> So, uh, 10th floor wants an update on our co-host search. Yeah, gave them names months ago. And none were approved. Do you know that you're trending on social media? And in a good way for once? Hmm. Patrick Dillon needs a makeover, yes. For a minute, he seemed like a guy I could have a beer with. Maybe she can turn him into someone who's not such a stuck-up Oh, OK. People like to see me stumble. It's schadenfreude. And why is that? She called you out, and New York was charmed. The charmed is a strong word. You called yourself charming. Look, a makeover by her could be your ticket to building up your listener numbers. Maybe even get you that Best of NYC award after all these years? Yeah, you're just a fan of hers. I am. But this proves that she is the perfect consultant to bring you back down to Earth. I mean, she made over Morris. Oh, do I look like a dive bar owner? OK, let's be real. Your declining listenership is why they want a co-host. And the Times said... I know what the Times said. You seem more focused on the insider gossip of the rich and powerful than the concerns of the average New Yorker. Listen, I know this may sound crazy, but I think we may have found a good co-host candidate to pitch to the 10th floor. Who? Her? Yeah, they will absolutely get on board. Her vlog followers are literally the demographic you score poorly with, but our advertisers covet. You're, you're kidding. Uh, no. She will balance and call you out, just like Howard Stern and Robin Quivers or Regis and Kelly. This is a joke, right? I feel that she'll bring something you lack, a more grounded, less pretentious perspective. You wouldn't throw a clown into a lion's den. Then give me more co-host names. No problem. That the 10th floor will approve. Listen, we're mashing two potatoes with one fork. And it's not like she's some seasoned co-host that the 10th floor will fall in love with and replace you with. She's a newbie. Exactly, which is why this is straight up insulting. You're sinking, Patrick. And from where I stand, she is your best chance at saving your show. Get her for the consulting gig and co-host, or I guarantee you the 10th floor will not renew your contract at the end of the season. Savannah here, and Ellie and I are having a creative day as part of our wellness routine. <clears throat> Hi, Savannah here, and who is this person? Should have been in airplane mode. Hello? Savannah! Dr. Dillon! You just called me like eight times. Why didn't you leave a message? Because you picked up. Listen, I'm sorry about yesterday. Uh, water under the bridge. Okay. Great. Can I still come in for the interview? No need. 
You're hired. That's fantastic news. Thank you. Uh, one little request. Instead of just the image consulting job, we will double your fee if you join me on the show as a co-host. Hmm, that's funny, Patrick. Are we on the air? Nope. So, is it a deal? No. No. Look, I appreciate the vote of confidence, but I have zero interest in becoming a radio host. Well, it wouldn't be a host, uh, per se. More of a, a trial run as a, as a side act. You're really selling this here. Listen, I've got my own priorities. What priorities? Face cream? Patrick, I'd be flattered to take the consulting gig, but no thanks to the show. But, uh, <laughs> we had such a connection, Savannah. I need to go. I thought you wanted this gig. I do, but we are taking a tour of a school and work does not interfere with my daughter. OK, let's close this deal now. I can talk tomorrow. Bye. Savannah! We also have a rooftop greenhouse, historic chapel, and new this year is a resident archaeologist. Of course, all this is to prepare students for the wonderful world they'll inherit. Of course. Contact me if you have any further questions. The tuition. Last page. Hope to see you in the fall. Mom, what are we doing here? You don't like it? This is for rich kids. Not if you get a scholarship. Ooh, I guess they gotta pay for Indiana Jones somehow. Why would they want me? Who wouldn't want you? You are smart. You have top percentile test scores. They give scholarships to people like you. But places like this open doors for the rest of your life. Did you ever get a scholarship? I went to public schools, but I was not as smart as you are. Hey, if you were here and you could study anything in the world, what would it be? Zoology? Zoology? I thought you liked English. That was last week. Silly, you like English. Like, we gotta come in here like you already know what you want to do. Like, driven, okay? All right. Hey. Morning. I. That was my coffee. Whatever bodega sludge that was, this is better. You'll thank me later. Is there half and half? Hmm. <sighs> So, how was the school? We don't have to small talk, Patrick. You're being friendly. I'm establishing boundaries. What did you want to discuss? Okay, so the consulting gig and the co-host thing are kind of a, a package deal. Mm, then no, sorry. You said you wanted the gig. Sure, but I don't need it. What is so wrong with co-hosting? You are so off-brand for me. You mean your new age yoga stuff? Listen, the last thing I need right now is something that's gonna pull me away from my vlog, not to mention confuse my followers and muddle my brand. What if we tripled your fee? <laughs> Thanks for the copy, Patrick. Okay, what if we connected you to advertisers, promoted your vlog on the show, and got you serious exposure? Why are you so desperate? Oh. They think my show needs a makeover. Yeah, it does. Listeners liked you, and management, for reasons that I cannot fathom, approved you. But do you want me? I don't have a choice. I wouldn't have time for my vlog. I will find you an intern. Okay, I will help you. I shoot, edit, find sponsors. Uh, Free labor. You'd have to allow me adequate time per week. Fine. And the show would have to align closer to my own brand. We'd have to agree on a guest list. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> this is my worst nightmare. Really? <sighs> you should meditate on that. I'm going to help you, Patrick. Yeah, for the record, this is not life coaching. This is just image consulting. Thanks for the coffee. It's good. It's perfect. Was that you on the Patrick Dillon show? 
please come in. Ah, uh, yes. What were you doing on his show? It's a <laughs> side gig, but are you upset that I'm working? No, 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 I am happy for you. But also, how did you get the account? You know, no, never mind. More importantly, the chemistry that was in the air, ugh, all of New York could hear. There was no chemistry. No? No. It was tingling with electricity, like styrofoam stuck to a cat. He was doing his fake radio charm. I was trying to get a job. Uh, by flirting? Uh, of course not, that's unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you seen the man on the other side of that voice? Only on page six, but do tell. <laughs> Why are you here? I am here to check in on you. And your life is obviously awesome, so. No. He may sound nice, but he is anything but. He is pretentious, he's pushy, he dresses like the landed Ooh, gentry. but that de voice. They add a filter. No. Yes, and he is the opposite of wellness. He's this mental gymnastics man. If you say so. Uh, they're mother-daughter journals. <laughs> so cute. I rarely find time with Kim. But that's what the park passports were for. You know, I'm actually doing a mother-daughter vlog episode on quality time together. My mom helped me make these prototypes. They're designed to promote wellness and foster creativity. It's basically a mindfulness journal for parents and a confidence builder for kids disguised as a productivity tool. You should use it with Kim. I, I can't. No, I would your love your feedback. I need testers. I really want to sell it through my vlog one day. I wish you told me about this while we were working together. I feel like I wasn't a good friend. No, I was worried that you'd think I wasn't 100% about the job, which I was, which was also the problem. Well, I'm glad that you're doing this and I'm happy I get to be a better friend now. Yes, boss. Why is all the furniture weird? This is a big question mark. Oh, you can sit on it. Oh, it's uncomfortable. No, it's a statement piece. But where do you watch TV in your pajamas? My mom's picking her up soon. Oh, look. Oh, that is a Louis Braun. It's a play on Kazimir Melovich's suprematism. I could totally paint it. She actually did paint that this morning. But this is brilliant and questions representation itself. Who cares? <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've been around kids. And maybe you could use some unfiltered honesty more often. Ooh, uh, careful, Fanny Mendelssohn. How about, let's try this. There we go. <laughs> I'm a puppet. <laughs> <clears throat> Are we gonna work? Oh, jeez, the boss is back. Boo. <laughs> so, the network has given us a couple weeks to find the new version of the show, which will launch after the mid-season hiatus. Forwarding you the branding parameters. Just look over those now. Where's your phone? I'm doing a digital detox. I'm not using my phone for the day. Why? Wellness. It's a vlog episode I have coming up. Do you want me to uh, print you out a hard copy? Don't hurt the trees. <gasps> look out there. Here, uh, try these. Oh, they're heavy. <laughs> That means they're expensive. Now let me know when you see the United Nations building. You can't see it from here. Keep it busy. So I looked over the guest list. Impressive, huh? Am I interrupting? Oh, continue. So for the show, I was thinking. Sorry. <laughs> so I was thinking for oh, the show. Sorry. Your guest list doesn't work for me. Your guest list doesn't work for me. Why not? I'm not going to undercut the sophistication of my show. I'm expanding it. With random mothers. Single mom entrepreneurs. Who nobody's ever heard of. I'm sorry if they don't live in penthouses or act in movies, but I would like to connect with normal people, like my vlog audience. Normal, huh? I can't find it. 
Keep looking. So the rebranding proposals that I sent you... Those don't work for You're me. being stubborn. Look who's talking. Can I have my phone back, please? Got a million things to do. This is Patrick. Patrick, this is my mother, Amy. I am a big fan. She isn't. Can I get a tour? My mom was just about to leave. I'm leaving. Mm. Can I ask for a favor? Be the voice on my answering machine. Hello, this is Patrick Dillon from Spreading the News. You've reached Amy Joy's phone. She's out living life and breaking hearts. <laughs> Please leave a message and she will get back to you soon. Cheers. Thank you so much. You are the best. Anytime. Anything else? Cocktail? Just be nice to him. Bye, babe. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, Ellie. Thank you for calling me back. Hi, I'm looking for waffle robe samples to review for my wellness vlog. Now, I don't have 30,000 followers yet. Minimum 30,000 followers. Well, I'm almost there. Do you work with influencers? I'm a single mother doing a blog post on secrets of a good night's sleep, and I'll be on spreading the news with Patrick Dillon soon. Okay, I understand. Thank you for your time. Yeah, I'd love to tell you more. Sorry, Mom's a little tired today. You didn't post today. I was I was busy with Patrick's stuff, but I'll post tomorrow. What are we filming? We are journaling before bed. But you need me to hold the camera. I'll be fine. You can help me tomorrow. Let's make some tea. Hi, welcome back to Finding the Me Between the Beauty and the Mess. I'm Savannah Joy, and in this video, I'll be reviewing essential oils. Expect me to interview the titans of business in a t-shirt? You're not negotiating trade deals. Style is confidence. It says, I'm on your level. Are you saying that for them or for you? Let them feel powerful over you. They'll open up more. There's a reason why politicians take off their ties and roll up their sleeves. It sets the tone. I'm not talking in a Ford factory. We are doing a reverse Cinderella on you. You can still be classy, but approachable. Add some jeans. Trust me. You look normal. Is that a compliment? Actually handsome. Actually. It's so much better without the tie, much less uptight. Okay, show me how you sit. Your body language is closed. You're not watching the game on the couch. Do you know the people that I've interviewed? You've always been invisible on the air, but not to the person you're talking to. I get it, you've never been subject to scrutiny the way you might have been if you'd been on camera, but people react to this subconsciously. I'm behind a desk. I could be pantsless. I do interviews in a dark booth. I want to talk about that, too. Look, I do not have time to psychoanalyze my leg placement. This interview is in two hours. Maybe we just pick it up, figure it out on the fly? Yeah, OK, I've got stuff I have to do, too.
I find the Oscars more of a pageant for the masses to experience glamour rather than an award for the truly best anything. <clears throat> I mean, when I was last there with my friend Leo, I found the red carpet line so slow. I mean, they don't tell you how long it's going to be. So, Zoe, I love that Falafel Hut commercial you were in. My daughter laughs at every time. You know, the one where you say, I'm too full, I feel awful. <laughs> you know, you feel awful. <laughs> you weren't in that commercial. Are you talking about Zoe Martin, the comedian? I'm so sorry. Oh. They don't even look alike. But maybe she had a wig on, you know, movie magic. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm new at this. I, I, uh, I just quit my job, and now I'm here all of a sudden co-hosting, you know, fake it till you make it, right? OK, Zoe is an Oscar-winning actress, Savannah, with two Emmys and extensive theater credits. You don't have to fake anything. You are an amazing actress, although I'm sure you could fake whatever you want if you had to. You know, the last time I conducted an interview was for my Science Camp magazine when I was 14. I was a little nerdy then, but you know, who wasn't? And uh, it was really good for college credits, and my mom was super into padding your resume, and I hope my college admissions people aren't listening, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you two are looking at me, and this feels awkward. Is this awkward? Patrick, get in there! Would you like to confess to anything else? I'm sorry, I was just trying to lower the stuffiness. Oh, you mean the elevated conversation? Uh, more like name dropping. Oh, please. Waxing poetic on the Oscars. Yeah, maybe you could write a haiku about it. Oh, try to join us up here, please. Oh, of course, Patrick. I forgot you're not a man, you're a radio god. Oh, maybe we could talk about holistic candles instead. Said no one ever. We have spent the last half hour pontificating about Hollywood rather than try to learn anything about okay, her. Don't just do falafel hut commercials. I am just trying to be real, Patrick, and I think your audience deserves that. Okay, let's. Let's be real. Okay. You didn't do the research, which is the first priority for any interviewer. I was busy, and you didn't share your notes. Busy? Doing what? Huh? Doing what, Savannah? I was having an important puberty conversation with my daughter. Okay, yeah, I'm a single mom, self-employed. What did you do last night, Patrick, huh? Google yourself? Okay, you know you've done that, too. Okay. We're going to take a quick commercial break. And in the meantime, please check out Savannah's wellness vlog, Finding the Me Between the Beauty and the Mess. We'll be right back. Nice. <sighs> so you two didn't compare notes. You didn't practice. I blame you for not coaching her better. Alicia. You're not taking this seriously. Okay, it is obvious that this experiment isn't working. Let's just go back to the old format. There is no going back, Patrick. We're not a number one anymore. To still be on the radio in this day and age with so much competition, you need broad appeal to justify the airwaves. She is your only hope, and you're, you're sabotaging it. And you, what? I expected better from you. I thought you'd never give up. We're gonna air reruns this week, and then you two just figure this out. Listen to the show today. Mm. I've been hired by a man who refuses to be helped. I thought the point of the show was to promote the blog. I'm getting there. Or what if he does more harm than good for your brand? I know. You could quit. You know, I know you take pride in your work ethic. No, but it's, it's not just... that. I signed a contract. Oh. Look, I'm handling it. I can catch up on blog episodes this week. Mm -hmm. I want to add a give back section. I think it would be a good mother daughter activity. Hmm. I agree.
So I see you know how to pick a spot. You ready to go? I need to start working on the show. Sure, but as you can see, you have to work on my schedule now. No, you heard Alicia. The deadline's next week. We always spend Saturdays at the park, and I have my vlog work to do. We don't have time for park play. There's always time. No, there isn't. You just have to choose to make time. Yeah, that's cute on a t-shirt, but that's not true. You promised, Patrick. That was part of the deal. This is why I became a wellness entrepreneur. Self-care and family first. Want to play? Yeah, why not? You do this every Saturday? Yep. What else do you guys do? Museums. Meditation. Creative day. Exploration days. Like walking around a new neighborhood or trying a new restaurant. There isn't always time, but it is a matter of prioritizing. I decided that this was important to me. What's important to you? Uh, uh work. Yeah, but work for what end? It's just what I've always done. Are you happy? Uh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> That's what I said. You'd know for sure if you use one of these. You track what you're doing, your goals, and then you can look back over a long period and see your state of mind, like where you spend your time, what's important to you. Your mom subject you to this torture? Yeah, but I like it. <laughs> so, we're gonna do some work? Yes. You will record. Uh, record what? Vlog episodes. We have four to shoot this week, thanks to you. Come on, it'll be fun. Ugh, boring, 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 boring,
I mean, they came from modest backgrounds. But they don't listen to my show anymore. I had fun today. <laughs> Thank you. See? Slowing down helps. Not for a day. <gasps> you should try journaling. Well, it's it's been a nice waste of time. Well, I'm glad I could be your life coach for the day. Bye. And thank you for holding up your end of the bargain and helping today. And I will have a list of advertiser contacts for you. Ellie? You're leaving? <sighs> Sadly. Oh, this is Bart's. I think you mean Beaux-Arts. It's beautiful. <laughs> what do I put here? Your essay. It says, who do you admire? Do you know who you're going to write about? No. Well, you seemed to like Amelia Earhart when we researched her. I guess. Who do you think I should write about? Well, that's up to you. I can't help you with this. Parents are not allowed. I need to think about it. This is a lot. Is Patrick helping with more vlog episodes? Well, somebody's got to hold the camera if you're not. I can let him. Hi. You ready? I got you something. You know the way to a girl's heart. I talked to the station's tech guy, so you could up your vlog game. And all the influencers are using proper lights these days. I know, I was planning to upgrade. Well, the station was just gonna get rid of this stuff, so it's yours. Patrick, I oh, can't that's accept a that. gift for me. You didn't have to buy me one. Oh, I, I didn't actually. I got a new one. That's my old camera. It was kind of awkward shooting on your phone yesterday. I almost accidentally chucked it into the pond. Thank you. Well, this is really just a ruse to help you shoot faster so you can spend more time working on the show. <laughs> Always an agenda. to practice with normal New Yorkers, not just people concerned with the latest collaboration. What are we doing here? I'm gonna give you a challenge. Make a person smile. Easy. I can make anyone laugh. No, the goal isn't to tell a joke. It's to charm and connect on a real level. Look, you're out of your booth. You're vulnerable, and you gotta be vulnerable to connect. Show me what you got. Excuse me, sir, can I ask you a quick... Uh... Hi, right, can I just talk to you for a minute? I just want to ask you a quick question. Um... <laughs> uh, excuse me. Just want to ask you a question, uh, Paul, with my friend here. Do you collect anything? Pin cushions. I know it makes me sound like an old lady. Uh, what about them do you like? I don't know. My aunt, I love, collects them, and they're so silly cute. Do you have a favorite? A uh, porcupine one. I love it when people are passionate about stuff, you know, no matter how small. I even have an Instagram page for them. So happy. I will give that a follow. Uh, thank you for talking to me. Patrick Dillon, not waxing poetic about trendy things. That's uh, us. Yeah, just asked her about something I know she'd love. Easy smile. Ah, so you got her to talk about something genuine. Damn, yeah, you made your point. I'm just trying to get you to flex your old muscle memory. Also, don't cross your arms so much. <clears throat> Wait a second. Are, are you? actually listening to me? <laughs> you know what? You should join me. Yes, you. You could use the practice. I dare you to get someone to tell you a deeply personal story. Get them to cry. <laughs> oh, come on. Team up. <laughs> she followed me everywhere. We were inseparable. We had such fun times. There was another side, hurtful. I understand. A lot of these relationships, they have such extreme highs and lows, and the lows can be brutal. She would scratch me, torment me. 
When I left, I felt... Relieved? But were you happy? No. She was a good cat, real affectionate kitten. But growing up on the farm, alone, the only kid for miles. She was your only friend. Yeah. <laughs> a pleasure talking to you folks. Mm. Well, that was the most intense conversation about a cat. You were connecting. Right? <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> Thank you. Did mm. you always want to work in radio? Mm. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to be a serious print journalist. Yeah, the Times. Really? Mm hmm. I did profiles. Uh, I was fascinated by people. And then one day I'm doing a profile on a DJ, W A J E, and the producer invites me to do an interview on air. Well, it turns out I have a talent for disarming guests. <laughs> uh, New York loved it. Now, how did you go from that to interviewing socialites? Well, you know, I was good at asking hard questions to the rich and powerful because of my profiles. They didn't scare me. Uh, so the station asked me to dive deeper into that, and I did. In every which way, including my life. Which was good for promoting my brand and networking with guests. Makes sense. Yeah, but eventually it became me. Started dating a stylist, started playing the role. And when my ex fiance left me, the show was the only thing I had on the air and off. I'm sorry. Oh, oh it wasn't meant to be. It was for the better, believe me. <sighs> you know, I used to have real conversations with guests. I did. And then the station wanted me to have this elitist slant, which now, apparently, they want me to shed. Yeah. What about you? Happy with the way you see yourself now? I felt stuck the last couple of years. My vlog and my journal both stalled, but shooting the other day, it feels like I finally have momentum, and it feels amazing. We're going to promote that on the show. Thank you. I should go. Me <laughs> <laughs> uh, too. Uh, yeah, Ellie's probably tired of my mom. Yeah, I have a uh, phone. Emails, uh, emails. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Business stuff. OK. OK, thank, thank you, you for. Oh, yeah. These are um, amazing. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Him? I rarely do penthouse renovations under eight figures. Billionaires don't want something someone else has. They want the impossible. But how do you work with clients who don't understand compromise? Well, first of all, we don't use that C word. OK, but what do you say to someone who's always used to get in their way? Look, this is the art of uh, dreams. And if they pay, I do. Okay, but, but I don't. Any... I mean, I was if you're just... just. I'm sorry. You no, no, please, please, please. Are you? Uh, sure? I... You guys are adorable. Oh. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> what was that? It was so slow. I wanted to pull the fire alarm. Why is it awkward like two teenagers? Are you two hooking up? Uh, definitely no, not. No, no, definitely no, not. No. So then what's the angle? What's the show, Patrick? We well, haven't figured it out yet. So I have no proposed branding from you two yet. No act structure, no guest list. 
You two can't act like an interviewing team unless you have tone and format. Now, you know this. What's the issue? N this is my fault. I was slowing us down, but we're on the same page now. Can you, can you just give us a little bit more time, please? Nail this rebrand by next week for the start of the second half of the season? Or be canceled? That's a bit harsh. It's not my call. There are plenty of up-and-coming podcasters with millions of followers already that the 10th floor would love to take a chance on. Don't you have an episode you need to edit and post? No, we're gonna figure this out first. Maybe we should do what I always do when I'm stuck. Take a break. Yeah, right. The opposite of work. No, mindfulness will lead to inspiration. Okay, what's the plan then? <sighs> yeah. Come on. I love this city. Me too. There's a patina of frustration from living on top of each other that covers the entire city, but scratch that off. There is a beautiful story around each corner. Look who's being a poet. That's how I feel. You don't get that hiding away in a loft. No, you definitely don't. Maybe we need to push the corny poet in you to find the angle. How about you show me your New York? Well. Mindfulness leads to real change. You stole that from my post. Are you stalking me? No, I've been journaling. <laughs> Come on. I've got a surprise for you tomorrow. <sighs> so, as promised, I found your potential sponsor for your vlog. Who is it? The world's largest online wellness retailer, Boutique Thrive. I don't trust them, sustainability or ingredient-wise. OK, you can ask them about it. Do you know they sell glitter-infused face masks? Microplastics pollute the water, and they harm your skin. It's all just for social media photos. OK, no glitter. What's wrong? I should have told you, but I'm a few days into a juice cleanse detox for the vlog. You had to pick a lunch meeting. I was supposed to know. Just don't eat anything. Do you know how hard that is? Just, just chat with her. And try to be your normal, charming self. Yeah, OK. I'm just a little bit hangry. And if she wants to talk about glitter masks, we're going to talk about glitter masks. I am not discussing glitter masks. <laughs> we love working with influencers. <gasps> Have you seen our new My Glitter Masks? Your followers will love them. I don't recommend anything to my followers that I don't believe in. They trust me. Oh, no, no, of course not. No, 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 no. All we're asking is that you review our masks and, and recommend the best. It's, it's not an endorsement. Do you test on animals? No. What about your lack of sustainability in aloe production? <laughs> I'm sure whatever report is watered down. Uh, thank you so much for talking with us, Sean. Oh. Wow. Well. Oh. Thanks, Charlotte. I'm sorry. I want to promote things that people need, not push products, especially products that I don't care you about. You know, you could grow your audience with Boutique Thrive, and you could do whatever you want, your own products, collaborations. No one will remember glitter masks. I am not sacrificing my principles just to make it. It's not that bad. Look, they may not be perfect, but I have a list of sponsors who will pay you well enough that you can ditch the image consulting and focus full time on your vlog. I need to do this my way, Patrick. Even if that takes years. If that. <clears throat> what? Ugh, that is so good. 
Let's order you some food. And then, let me go over the analytics that the advertisers care about. You little devil. Yeah, that's where the older kids played stickball. By the time I was old enough, nobody played. And there is my window. Parents moved to Denver, but still know people in the neighborhood. You don't come around much, do you? No. Oh, you have a better view these days. Yeah, but... That's hard. You know, I used to hang out at my dad's bookshop, chatting with customers. Talked to a lot of strangers as a kid. You know, my parents, they never cared about the latest fashion collaboration or the new restaurant opening. It didn't matter how you dress, as long as you wore pants. Well, it looks like you made them proud. Uh, yeah, maybe. I know what we should do. Perfection. Oh, yeah? Pat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 You're out. You didn't tag me. Wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Remember the first thing I asked you? How do you see yourself? Somewhere between here and Manhattan. Guess I didn't go far. But you went high. Where do you see yourself? Still finding the me between the beauty and the mess. All I know is that I found my passion when I was just trying to make my everyday life work. What if that's it? What do you mean? Don't focus on how guests made it or what got them to where they are, but instead on their personal root memories, their upbringing, what made them people to begin with, like us here today. And then we'll understand their passion and how they manage to make their everyday lives work amidst the chaos of what they do. Maybe a requirement is that they bring a family member or a friend, someone who knows them well. I mean, that would be a different dynamic than an interview normally has. I mean, we could even interview them live in their own home. Or place of work. We can do that, right? Why not? Our guest list could be elite, self-made people. We could have single mother entrepreneurs on there, too. I think we've got some work to do. <laughs> and plenty of vlog episodes to shoot. Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah, but will we bring her with her children? I mean, the gymnast maybe, but the other one I don't think would be kind of radio quality. You need one of these. You don't like mine? No. It's a bit harsh. I believe the term's unfiltered honesty. Do you like my hands? Um, you had them last time. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is <laughs> Everybody keeps saying that. Imagine you're itching to get back to your routine. What do you mean? You know, gallery shows and celebrity hangouts. Uh, not really. I mean, 
want me to move if I'm having fun here. Mom! Are we journaling? Of course. Um, do you want to join us? Yeah, let me just finish up here. How's it going with Patrick? It's going. Quite the 180, huh? He's been helpful with the vlog. I've been posting on schedule. I even have some advertising contacts to pursue, but... But that all sounds great. I think we're finally nailing the show's angle. I mean, I think it'll be phenomenal. But where does that leave me? What do you mean? I have my own brand I need to focus on. I took this job because I needed the momentum from him, but once I get it, I can't get sucked into a show that's gonna pull me away from my own dream. Plus, I'm worried that Ellie is becoming too attached. I think you should follow your heart. Are you giving me mindfulness advice? I have been using the journals with Kim, and it's been eye-opening, to say the least. Been doing some reflection, making some changes. Like what? Dinner. <sighs> okay, I, I know it seems small, but sitting down to a good homemade meal every night with Kim not rushed, it's been wonderful. That's amazing. <laughs> I think I didn't want to track my emotions because I was afraid of the truth. I mean, you can't deny it on paper. Rushed was my theme. Keep going. Will do, coach. There is one other thing. The partners wanted me to make you a counteroffer to bring you back <sighs> in time. Double what you made before. That's more than I've ever made. As your friend, I, I think you should stick with the vlog. That's a big number to walk away from. Think about it. You don't have to give them an answer till next week. Where are we? We are in the kitchen. So why don't we interview a Michelin chef's family? I love it. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Um, we could... Hello. Hi, Miss Callahan. <laughs> The scholarship interviews are when? Okay, thank you so much. This is wonderful news. What's wrong? She got in, but she still has the scholarship interview. Tuition is like the price of a new car every semester. And she'll get the scholarship. Yeah, but what if she doesn't? I mean, I have money saved for the vlog, but maybe I can't waste it on that. No, you have to follow your dreams. Even if she gets it this year, she has to reapply every year. Yeah, but if the show gets renewed, you have additional income. I can't depend on that. You figure it out. I don't have that luxury. Ellie comes first. I think you can do both. Mom! I should go tell her. Okay. <laughs> I just want you to be as professional as possible and check all the boxes that the school is looking for, okay? What's wrong? I don't know, I just want to be myself. Yeah, but you got to be more than that, too. Is Patrick helping us shoot tomorrow? Oh, no, he isn't. Oh. Ellie, he's not going to be around all the time. But maybe not at all. He's got his own life. We got to focus on us, the team, OK? That's my girl. OK, sit up, shoulders back, hands on your lap. OK. <clears throat> so, Ellie, what are your interests? English. English? I like English the best. Nice. OK. Um, <clears throat> so, Ellie, what are you reading right now? I just finished a book called Believe Me. And what do you like about Believe Me? I would probably say the character development. It was written very nicely. Yes, girl! You're going to ace this. So what sacrifices have you had to make to get here?
Well, it had to be a dream we both wanted. It's not just me alone in, in the kitchen getting a Michelin stars. Yeah, my parents were the same. My dad had a bookstore. It was his dream, but he was uh, not a good businessman, so it would have died many times if my mother didn't believe in it, too. When you first opened and got that scathing review, what did you do? Well, my instinct was to work harder, but I was forcing it. Hmm. So how did you find your voice? Our daughter. Uh, the whole flavor of the restaurant came from uh, me wanting to show her our family's heritage. Wow, I love that. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. This has been Spreading the News with Patrick Dillon and Savannah Joy. Till tomorrow. That was great, guys. And doing interviews live on location every weekday morning will be a grind, but the results are clear. I mean, these familiar spaces really bring out the intimacy. And you can feel it, too, in the sound of the room. And then you guys were absolutely in sync, too. Well, we have some guests we want to run by you for approval. It's going to be a logistical nightmare, but uh, we're ready. Uh, and we should also do supplementary content for the website. I agree. I hope you two can pull this off. <laughs> Talk soon. What's up? I'm just happy everything's coming together. Yeah, I know. Hey, there will be time for the vlog, I promise. I'll help. Patrick! I, uh, I can't get out of this gallery opening. Would you uh, want to come with me? A gallery opening? Yeah. Uh, I'll send you the information in case you want to come. Patrick! <laughs> I'd be honored if you would be my plus one. What's your favorite subject? I like English the best. Do you have any other interests? Don't worry about your mom. We'll come back to that. I read your essay about who you admire. We studied Amelia Earhart recently. Wonderful. But Ellie wrote about someone else. You. I admire my mom because she follows her heart. She inspires other people to take care of themselves, just like she takes care of me. My mom says that following your dreams is the scariest thing of all, but I want to be like her and follow my heart. But I'm new and she's not, so I have to find out what that is for me. That's why we learn about new jobs and topics every month. So Ellie, what does your heart want to do? I guess I do like something the most. What's that? I've always wanted to be a veterinarian. Wonderful. Why? Doctors help people, but animals need help too. They have personalities. They do. My friend Susie has two cats. They're very different. Did you know you need to study chemistry and biology to become a veterinarian? Yes. Grandma says chemistry is like cooking, except you can't eat the ingredients. So, why didn't you put veterinarian on your application? Why didn't you tell me that you wanted to be a veterinarian? I did, but you never listened. Whenever I talked about animals, you said we couldn't get a pet. How'd I do? You did great. You did. Sorry I didn't listen more. It's okay, Mom. Patrick Dillon. Hey, man. Congratulations, man. I heard you were all pre-sold. Thanks, man. You heard right. Oh, I remember when you were a struggling artist. <laughs> I remember when you were a struggling artist. Hey. How's the show? It's changing. I think it's going to be better. 
That's awesome, man. I love that. What's your secret? What got you from a hawk and art in Times Square to this? Honestly, man, I just, I turned out the heat. I just worked every day like it was my last. Really? Yeah, man. At this point, I have no time for anything but pursuing perfection, you know? You gotta be like, like a seagull over the Arctic Ocean, just never landing, never resting until you catch that fish, you feel me? Mm. Just no distractions. But, I mean, I'm preaching to the choir, right? So. Oh. <laughs> so I know how to think? Uh... You found someone? Oh my God, that is so unlike you. How are you gonna have time for the show now then? Sorry, man, I gotta, I gotta go mingle. Hey, go. you do you. Oh, seagull, baby, don't forget. Seagull. <laughs> scholarship I got an offer to go back to my old job for double what I made are you seriously considering it we wouldn't be at the mercy of the scholarship this year or next what about our show your show I thought you wanted this too I want you to succeed this show is gonna be phenomenal I know Compliment me. I want more than that. I have dreamed for years of doing something meaningful like this. That's not my dream. But you're just gonna walk away from for this job? I can't hedge her future on my brand success. That job is a guarantee. You could work with one of the sponsors I gave you. I'm not losing my principles. So you're just gonna walk away from your passion because it's not exactly the way you want it? I can still work it on the side. Yeah, how'd that work out last time? I got you to a good place. Are you seriously quitting? This is spiraling into too much commitment for me. My contract says Seriously, that I... I don't care about the contract. I care about you following through on your passion. I mean... You practically kicked mindfulness into my head, and now you are completely avoiding it. That's why I'm leaving the show. I'm sorry this is hurtful to oh, you, fine. but... Leave me. But don't, don't leave me for a job that you don't care about. That is hurtful. If not now, for the vlog, then when? Huh? <laughs> Keep making promises to yourself, but you, you don't really change. What about you? What about me? You slow down for a second, but you don't know where you're going. You haven't made any meaningful changes in your own life. You're on the same path to burnout or sellout. This is what I want. What do you want? I'm happy for you. You've clearly regained your mojo, but I have my own life and it's none of your business. So, We've booked half the guests. Savannah quit. What? Why? Follow through issues. I can maintain the new format without her. I promise. Guest list is set. I recorded her questions in advance. The research is done. I just, I just need to stay grounded without her. Okay. I'm committed. Fine. Go for it. It's your funeral. Where's Patrick? I quit. It was becoming too much. But you were right, I have to focus on my vlog. 
But he was helping you. Well, are you still going to spend time together as friends? I can't have Ellie becoming too attached. Right. I mean, what happens when he gets bored of us and goes back to his world of models and celebrity events? You know, how is Ellie going to take that? Well, all I know is that you and Ellie have been happy for the past few weeks. Read your journal if you don't believe me. You know, Clara offered me my old job back at double my salary. Ellie's tuition wouldn't be an issue. You are indeed good at this wellness thing. And you have to do it because it's who you are. Jenny's daughter came up to me the other day raving about how your vlog helped her and her friends. I mean, she was talking about you like you were a saint. And I know you ain't no saint. So if you need help with Ellie, or if you need financial help, I'm here, OK? Just factor it into your business plan. I just want you to be happy. OK. It's from the school. This is it. This is... <sighs> what does it say? We proudly confirm that Ellie Joy is the recipient of a full-time scholarship. <laughs> dessert for dinner. Uh, okay. Yes, we are. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm glad you told the truth about wanting to be a veterinarian. You always talk about finding the me in your vlogs, so I just did what you tell people. I'm not living up to my own advice, am I? What does the team think about me staying on with the vlog as planned? Well, you know where I stand. I vote yes. And now that I'm home more, maybe we can discuss getting a pet. It's a big responsibility, but it's what you're interested in. Really? Yeah. You inspire me. You're my hero, Mom. <laughs> Eat your ice cream. Thank you for meeting with me. I know that you run a fashion vlog, and, and I was telling you a little bit about my wellness vlog, and I think that this would make for a really interesting article. I, if you wanted to come do a vlog, and we could sort of do like a merge vlog, you could. Won't you ever tell me, don't you let me, I rise up and then I Thank you for the job offer, but I'm gonna do my thing as planned. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Plus, I wanted to connect you to some stores that are interested in carrying your journals. I hope you don't mind. I showed a few people. I don't have any stock, though. That journal was just a prototype. OK, I also have some investors that are interested in financing your first batch. So <sighs> is that a yes? <laughs> oh, that's a yes. <laughs> I can sympathize with the neighborhood I grew up in. Was, <laughs> it was a place we all wanted to live. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're doing. We're reading. The book's upside down, Mom. Grandma. <sighs> he invited you to the best of the NYC awards. Both of you. The show's been nominated for. I know. I'm not going. <sighs> All right. 
Your contract has been renewed. Mm. Isn't this what you wanted? Yeah, I'm... I am exhausted. <laughs> you knew this would be a grind. I did Savannah RSVP. You want to invite anyone else? I'll just make sure two seats are safe, just in case they show up. All right. Uh, sorry, just a minute here. Hi, Dad. What's up? Uh, sorry, I meant to call. Uh, how was your trip? You listened to the show. Yeah, yeah, we changed the format. How do you know that? You know, I, I did not know Alicia had your phone number. Uh, you liked it. Thank you. Uh, that, that means the world to me. <laughs> and, and Mom listened to it with all her friends. Wow, that is... That's wonderful. Thank you. And the NYC award goes to... Patrick Dillon! <laughs> I've wanted this for the last 10 years, and now for the first time in my life, I am speechless. Uh, this would not have been possible without two people who are very dear to me, Savannah and Ellie Joy, whom you, you heard on the show. They pushed me to slow down, and to rediscover myself, where I'm from, values close to my heart. And I, uh, no, they made me whole again, allowed me to connect to people human to human, and find that common ground that people care about. Promise not to lose that again. Thank you. next season, but with more pre-taped segments so I can devote more time to quality without burning out. I'll be back, same time, same place, but I'll never be the same. How could I? Savannah and Ellie walked into my life and, well, ruined it. <clears throat> and that was the best thing that ever happened to me because I saw what life could be. I was full for a moment with them. And that's all I want. I should be so lucky. You know, Savannah pushed me. You know, I had lost my touch as an interviewer because I was losing touch with my heart. She saved me. Uh, Mom, can you watch Ellie? I'm going out. <laughs> And so, this is Spreading the News with Patrick Dillon. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Savannah. What are you doing here? 
I realize that I can't be a better mom for Ellie or help others if I don't help myself. I'm not living up to the mindfulness advice on my own wellness blog. I told myself that I was protecting Ellie when in truth I was protecting myself from failure. I'll never achieve my dreams that way. You and Ellie taught me that. So I was hoping that you would join our team again as the cameraman on a trial basis. <laughs> well, that is a dream I can get behind. I don't want to miss out on life. And I cannot imagine doing it without you and Ellie beside me. I am only one half of a great conversation without you. On air and off. Well, you heard it, New York. This is Spreading the News with Patrick Dillon. And Savannah Joy. Till next time. See, Vincent, that is romance right there.